dividing by tens, hundreds, or thousands. Continuing his work, Jim opened another envelope. The boss attached a note with a check of $36,000. He told Jim this is the stipend for 400 handymen involved on the closing day of the project. Again, Jim had to calculate the stipend for each handyman by himself. But how should we do the division? 36,000 divided by 400. You may have noticed that 400 is 4 times 100. While 100 is a powered 10, this means we can make use of the technique we used in calculating 60,000 divided by 10 before. We should first find the answer without any trailing zeros. With the basic fact we know, 36 divided by 4 equals 9. Then, by doing subtraction between number of zeros in dividend and divisor, 3 minus 2 equals 1, we may find one more zero follows the quotient 9. Thus, the final quotient is 90. We may also use some alternative methods. For example, we can also turn 36,000 and 400 both into expanded forms with the same unit, hundreds. We can say 36,000 is 360 hundreds, and 360 hundreds divided by 4 is 360 divided by 4. The third method is to divide 36,000 twice, since 400 is multiplication of 4 and 100. By taking any method, we can say the stipend is $90 for each handyman involved on the closing day of the project. Hey guys, did you get it?